Hi, welcome back to another episode of Uncut with KJH. This is going to be all about eyeliner. Quick, easy, and ready to go. Okay, we've got a coal pencil. I like coal because it blends easier than gel. If you love gel, don't change. If you find gel tricky, try coal and then try the steps that I'm going to share with you following this step. Take your coal pencil. This is um, Limitless Brown from Makeup Forever. And I'm going to start by just taking this pencil across the lash line close to the lashes and just go right above them about there okay and then I'm going to wing it out by working backwards because for me if I pull outwards do you see how much my skin is wobbling it's making it harder for me so if I work that way it's actually easier to create a straight line so, or, but kind of a bit of both is helpful. But do you see, I just made it made a mess. It's fine, we'll just fill it in, okay. Okay, now, little brush, little blending brush, this one from KJH and Spectrum number 21. I'm gonna blend all that in and I'm not gonna really like make it too neat because it doesn't need to and I'm gonna put liquid over the top. Just make sure you can see, sorry. Um, blending that in to create a smudgy, smoky look. I'm gonna open the eye just so that I can get into this area right here. And that's kind of the start of the liner. And this can be, this is quite small in my opinion, but it can be bigger and it can be smaller. You just don't come out as far. And if you don't come out that far, then this part doesn't need to be as big either. If you have a hooded eye, you do wanna go over that fold right there so that you can see it while your eye is open. With one of the brushes from the KJH kit, this one, it's like a little flat liner brush. I'm actually just gonna use this to carve a little bit more shape under that wing. And I'm not using anything on it. It doesn't need any makeup remover on it because the oils on my skin will do the job for me. But if you are using a gel, you might need more. And that's good. And now what I'm gonna do is just sort of make that a bit darker. Whenever you blend, you're removing. So just add a bit more to there, wherever you've sort of taken too much away. And that's kind of like a good little basis. That took me two minutes for one eye. And I'm actually gonna do the same on the other side before I, I'm gonna do the same steps on this side. So I'm gonna just try and look straight into the mirror and not, and not cover the lens. Okay, so these pencils are really soft, but they are not long wear by any means. They can be used for eyes and lips, most of them but it will have a little picture of an eye and a lip on the pencil if it is multiple use. Um, okay, so with my eyes open, I'm just gonna kind of look at the other side while I draw this side so that my placement is relatively the same. I'm just gonna etch on my little, sh my little etches and then I'm gonna go back to my blending brush, 21. Is it 21 or is it 22? I'm just buffing my brush into my towel on my lap because there was a, bit, there was a lot of product on it and I just wanted to be able to blend without moving more product around, I wanted to almost blend. Because when you're blending, you're actually, I've said this before, you're effectively taking off product when you're blending. It's kind of what you want to do. So here we are, we're about here, this is fine. I'm not mad at this. This side's a bit bigger, so if I wanted to, I could just like shave a little off of the top here um, and a little under there, but I'm not really that worried. Some days your liner goes great, sometimes it goes okay. And I'm, I'm okay with those days that, where it goes okay. It doesn't, I don't fight for perfection unless I was doing like, I don't know, unless I was doing something super sort of specific, like a red carpet event, which I don't do that much, um, then I don't really, doesn't really bother me. So we're gonna blend before we sort of make sure, before we layer on any liquid. And this is a good way to sort of, you know, get your shape down before you go in with liquid. For the liquid, I'm gonna use the Lancome um, Glossy Black Lancome Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. Um, it's got a really long tip on it, which is nice. And I'm gonna go straight in to this inner corner here and just paint in there, just like so. And then I'm gonna look down, hope you can see. I'm gonna kind of semi-blink while I'm looking close into a mirror and I'm gonna go as close to the lash line as I possibly, possibly can. Work all the way along, check it out, just keep checking. 
And then for this, I'm just going to, I'm probably not going to take it out as long as the brown is because I kind of like that the brown is the soft, is like my softener. Um, but I'm going to bring it a little thicker just there. And then I'm actually going to be cheeky and blend those two formulas together a little bit. And the little bit of brown that's on my skin is going to help me sort of create a buffer between those two products. And make them look a little bit softer. If I want to, I can always go back in with more of this after I've sort of touched it with a brush. And get a root deeper into the root of the lash. Let me see if I can get a better angle on this. You know, I don't have uh, like a production assistant, so I'm sort of doing these on my own, so I really hope you can see what's going on. So this is nice. I'm going to finish this eye with liner and then finish the other side. Um, oh, mascara, sorry. This is, um, you know, my favorite. Tower 28. Don't judge your makeup until your eyeliner is, until your mascara is on. And I, I genuinely mean that. Like, your mascara, for lack of a better word, hides a multitude of sins. And sins are okay in makeup. Like, not every day do you have to be a perfectionist. Some days you might want to be, some days you might just want to be like, okay, it's fine, it's good, it's good enough. But do you see how that all of a sudden got so much better with mascara? Okay, we're going to do the other side. If ever your liquid liner has been open for a few minutes and it starts to get a little bit dry, just take your Fix Plus, wherever it is, or your setting spray or whatever makeup spray you use with glycerin in it and just wet your palm of your hand. Because it's, it's not drying out, but it's not flowing as easily as it did a minute ago. I don't even know where my Fix Plus went. Um, and basically just um, wet the tip of the applicator. So tiny bit of Fix Plus um, from MAC, and then you're just gonna re-wet the tip, um, but not too much. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And what that does is it sort of just brings the moisture back to it. If you notice, I don't really go like, it's not realistic. It's like, you know, and also one other thing I'll say, as you grow up through life, your eyelids will change. And sometimes if I don't do eyeliner on myself for like a week or two weeks, it's definitely a shaky situation in the sense of like the, the sort of strength of the wing. It's like, oh, it doesn't look so good today. If I haven't done it on myself for a minute, it's going to be a challenge. Just blending that in. Not too much pressure. Don't be too firm with your, oh, sorry, I totally lost focus there. Don't be too firm with your brushes, my friends, because you will find that it doesn't serve you well. That's fine. I'm not gonna overcommit and do too much. I'm gonna do my mascara. Tower 28 Make Waves, my favorite. I'm not even using mirror because I just know where to feel for it. And I do always look down on my wand so that it gives me that lift. Easy, softened by the brown, and intensified by the black. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. That is about it, I guess. The only thing that I would ever do to add longevity to this or sharpen this up is take a little bit of powder and just sort of go underneath the wing there just to sort of stop it from melting down. If you're in a situation that's hot or, you know, long full day, you could sort of just help help it along with just powder in strategic places. Um, and that, I think, is it. If you do make any big sort of mistakes, obviously just, you know, it's makeup. It's very easy to sort of take it off and start again. Um, that's too much powder on that side, so we're going to just blend that in. You can see it. Um, yeah. Also, it further defines the liner a little bit more. Cool. I'm gonna just give me give 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 a little bit of a freeze frame option. And that is what it looks like close up. Not perfect, but it doesn't need to be. We just need to get it on and get practicing. And the more you practice, the better you will get quicker. Alright, love you all. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Uh send this to a friend if you think it's helpful. And yes, thank you always for this part. <laughs>